We'll check the wheels. That is for safety. So when they're loading, the truck won't move and secured what a beautiful day here we're in Denver PA guys yo hey guys how are you guys doing out there I hope you guys are doing well because I love you guys. First off, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of your support, for the comments, for everything. Whenever I upload videos, you always have time to make an effort to type a comment, which I appreciate that so much, you know, from the bottom of my heart. So happy and grateful. And if I, will, I won't be able to respond to you guys, please don't feel bad. I will always get back to you. As soon as I can as you know how my work is sometimes I'm busy and I uploaded a one video last night <clears throat> and then I have another one will be followed the part two because that video was 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 done a few days ago when I was at the delivery and it's because I'm very busy guys I wasn't able to upload that that day so it's been like three days and I have another video followed by that video so uh, anyway guys um, right now it is Friday I'm here at my pickup um, in the dock door right now they're gonna they're gonna load the trailer soon hopefully we're not gonna be here for a long period of time but anyway we have a load to Colorado guess where Colorado Springs yeah guys we're going to Colorado Springs because I'm taking a few days home time which I deserve it because I've been working so hard um, I think I did not take a home time for almost two months I was on the road because I really really hard to how uh, I really have to work so hard because I'll be going to the Philippines this coming August um, so I need to save up a little bit of money to go to the Philippines to get my mom and yeah there's so many plans so you know when you're going to the philippines you gotta have you know some extra cash and you know money and plus i gotta buy my ticket oh i just heard the bang bang so they're gonna start loading right now um because the truck is kind of it's kind of loud outside so 
so um, yeah um, when you go to the Philippines I'm sure we Filipinos uh, to my Filipino viewers out there uh, kumusta kayo guys lahat so you know um, alam natin na pag umuwi talaga tayo sa Pilipinas we really have to have that money I mean it doesn't have to be so uh, it doesn't have to be a lot you know but we need we need a little cash and extra money for our family because you know in the Philippines um, especially that your family is not you know especially my family back home we are not we're not rich so somehow you need a little uh, you need to give some help to the to your cousins and relatives and not really cash but you know try you know you gather um, like a, a one day party you know just to have a, a small food uh, gatherings you know invite your family over your relatives not everybody but you know I'm sure you understand me so guys finally uh, after almost two months of working here um, on the road I'm finally going to Colorado Spring um, to, to, to take a home time a few days off um, because um, I needed to uh, get my US passport because uh, again I'll be going to the Philippines this coming August first week of August so I needed my US passport uh, for us to be able to fly there and I'm so happy and grateful that my company um, Vesta Trans Holding try to work out my home time because we don't really go to the we don't really go a lot to Colorado like Denver we don't really go there um, mostly we stay in the northeast south the north midwest we don't really go there but um and normally you cannot really take your truck for a few days time to uh, take a home time and take that truck with you normally you would have to bring it back to the yard but with with vista because they they appreciate my hard work here they they really considered me that you know what there is an exemption and you know you can take your truck to to the to Colorado with you and I'm really really happy and grateful so first I want to give a shout out to Maria the HR of Vista transportation um, she's amazing she's she's so great and she's very understanding and yeah I just appreciate you guys for 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 being so kind to me and of course I want to give a um, a shout out to the, another HR which is Antonia uh, Antonia was very very nice and very helpful so whenever I need um like a, a home time request she would always like response right away we, we text we call um, whenever I have that uh, home time request she would always like help me try to ask Maria Maria is the head of the HR you know so she would always like consult with Maria hey Jake is asking for a home time so um, what do you think about it and Maria is always there to approve it right away so shout out to my company um, as far as the home time um, I never had a problem with this with this company you know they're always working on it which I agree greatly greatly appreciated it and good thing is though is they, um, they reward your hard work here so thank you thank you again Vista for everything for giving me this truck a nice truck a Volvo truck so thank you so jumping on to the next uh, plan is this load that I'm picking up here in Denver PA we're in Denver PA Denver PA Pennsylvania then we're gonna go to Den no not Denver Colorado well close to Denver so anyway guys um, I asked for a few days off um, so my delivery is this coming Monday it is 1696 miles to Colorado to where we're gonna deliver so delivery Monday it's Friday right now so I'm gonna drive today as far as I could and then and then tomorrow Saturday Sunday I have window appointment from 8 I think to 2 p.m. between between 7 to 2 p.m. yeah that's the, so I will be able to make it on time to my delivery and then after that my sister will pick me up at the truck stop because I'm gonna park this truck at the truck stop I think I will be somewhere closer to my sister's house so there's some truck stop around the area and hopefully I'll be done early on Monday so that um, 
I'm, I'm happy that it's Monday because normally when it's weekdays the truck stop is not as full but on the weekends it's it's very full so I'm so excited to finally see my sister again um, my sister has been living there with her uh, with her husband in, in Colorado Spring for a few years because my her husband is in the military so it's close to the military base and of course I'm so excited to see my my niece Allison and yeah I think I deserve a home time because I've been I worked so hard here and yeah I needed some break and I'm gonna invite them over to my truck to actually uh, cook um, Filipino food for you guys because I know I've seen comments here that you should try to cook Filipino food finally I think we can do that I already asked my sister if we can cook inside the truck and uh, you guys have in my truck and we can cook all together in the truck and you know eat dinner or maybe lunch so we will buy the ingredients at the Philip uh, uh, Asian market um, there is an Asian market there in Colorado Spring where the Filipino ingredients are available in that uh, market so we will we will do that for you guys and I'm just so happy that you guys enjoyed my my cooking videos and I've noticed that yeah that video that I uploaded when I was cooking in the semi truck it, it blew up guys it's, it's crazy it's got a 200,000 views now so with you guys with your help um, uh, supporting me here um, my channel is starting to grow my views starting to grow my followers my subscribers starting to grow from 7,000 to now 13,000 so again guys I can't stress it enough thank you guys so much for your support you know um, I mean I'd be able to respond to you right away to, to your comments but you know um, whenever, whenever I'm done with work I always want to make sure that to check on your comments and respond as, uh, as, as soon as possible as I can because um, you guys are uh, you guys are you guys supported me here in the channel uh, you watch my videos and with all that I was able to earn a little bit extra money thank you thank you guys so much for everything you know one day as hopefully God is great and hopefully my channel will will grow and grow and grow and my views will grow and grow because um, in that way guys one day I will be able to get back to the community you know I have this um, advocacy one day that if my channel will, will grow I will actually in the Philippines guys you know I grew up uh, from a poor background uh, I have a humble beginnings I have in my town in the village there's a lot of hungry people there very poor and I was in that situation before so uh, with this social media platforms right now the, the YouTube the Facebook um, hopefully one day I can earn that uh, the money that I'll be uh, able to save here on this channel like you know the revenue that I'm getting here I'm gonna try to uh, help them you know not really like cash but I'm gonna do like a, you know feeding program or try to donate some food stuff like that so I'm gonna go to the Philippines I'm gonna go visit my town um, and try to do that you know you always uh, give back to the community because I think that's the right thing to do because we're so blessed and, and um, lucky that you know we're fortunate to have a job we have we have a job we we're not hungry and then there's so many people out there are hungry especially in my hometown in the Philippines there's so many hungry and I was in that situation before so I'm so excited to visit because I never um, I wasn't able to visit there when I was in the Philippines last time two years ago so this time I'm gonna make it happen so this is the story guys um, what else I'm just I don't know I'm just so happy guys right now <laughs> so I'm gonna upload this video later and just just giving you guys an update and um, I just love reading your comments guys just so you know that I'm I really really appreciate everything you guys um, 
for your time. Uh, you know that seconds that the the typing for lengthy comment. I love reading it, and that's 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 your time. You put a time typing a message and a comment here just to give me you know support. Thank you so much. You know, I feel like right now. I mean, I know all of you, but I feel like right now I have best friends. I have you guys. So I always smile on my face whenever I see good comments. And as far as the, I know that I've seen um, comments that I should be speaking Tagalog, but I'm, I'm not offended at all, guys. But I hope that we Filipinos, some, I'm Filipino, I speak Tagalog, I speak Bisaya. Um, I am very proud Bisaya. I'm very proud Filipino. When I speak Tagalog, uh, when I speak English here, it's normal, you know, it's, you live in the United States and it doesn't matter if you speak whatever languages you have. And I, you know, the fact that I'm, that I'm here in the United States, I appreciate, I went to school here, I really appreciate Americans here that they really don't care about your accent, about your, the way you talk and if your English is limited, they don't care. In fact, they are so proud of you because you were able to communicate and, you know, they appreciate things like that, you know. And when I went to school here in college, I, I you know, I've noticed that. But we, some Filipinos, unfortunately, I'm not saying everybody, they try to criticize your accent, where you are, where are you coming from, and they make fun of your, um, the way you talk your accent your heavy accent just like me before when I was growing up I am poor I was bullied for being dark skin and the way I speak I'm from Visaya I'm originally from the Visaya you know Visaya so I have a very thick thick accent when speaking Tagalog my our Filipino dialect so I remember back in the day that uh, one of my acquaintance friends back home in the Philippines try to reach out to me called me on my number here and try to pretend as if they are a call center agent uh work with the phone and they try to offer me like hey um hey um you won you won on like a cell phone and you need to uh, claim this prize in the cash but you know what while they're doing that while they try to call me um the record the way I answered it because that was like my first year here in the United States they record the conversation me and that person who called me who pretend to be someone you know that you know work with the uh, carrier or you know a cell phone agency they record that and they pass it on to their friends and make fun of my voice make fun of the way I speak English and accent you know and from then on um, I, I feel I feel offended and I wasn't happy um, somebody someone in their friend the circle of friends told me about it and that's how I find out that all oh, these friends are not real so anyway that long long time ago, I already forget about it and I forgive but it's just that some people are very rude that they make fun of you because you are from this area you're not from Manila you know you're not from you know, like it's it's just. I think we we should change. We need we need to change our mentality. That we should have a bolder mindset. That we should not do that to people. Some people are just not um, capable of doing things. Some people are not fortunate to have a good life. Just like me before. I I hardly speak English before. I learned my English. I. I, I work so hard for this, you know, um, I earned it and you know, there's always room for improvement if you are bullied by I was bullied before and that's why I helped myself. I said that can never be me Yes, uh, maybe I'm not good at that moment I'm not saying I'm really good now But every day you learn what is important is you are kind you are nice and just be kind because if you are kind that kindness will always find a way to get back to you the, the way you treat the people the people are treated the same way so that's what I've learned in life and don't be arrogant you know 
so anyway guys yeah that was just an experience before that I try to share with you guys so whatever I speak um, if I speak Tagalog right now if I speak English I, I don't care now you know um, <laughs> we need to open our mind uh, very understanding and you know it don't matter right hindi kailangan natin magkumpara sa ano hindi natin kailangan magkumpara each other uh, maging mabait lang tayo you know um, don't see it in a negative, negative way dahil hindi naman kailangan why not we focus on the positive sides right right guys did I say that right <laughs> thank you thank you guys so much so anyway they start loading now and I should be done here maybe less than an hour so the load is kind of heavy so we're gonna scale it so anyway I'm gonna check where we're gonna go what road we're gonna take so I wanna see the GPS oh yeah we're gonna take 70 for a while well, you know what? I think this is gonna go all the way 70. We're gonna take all the way 70 to oh, Colorado. Yeah, Colorado. Yeah. So, uh,. probably guys I'm gonna be I'm gonna finish early today um, although I'm gonna drive um, halfway there but I'm gonna I didn't buy a lot of uh, I didn't buy too much grocery because I know I'm, I'll be taking a home time but I still have some leftover pork chop there in the fridge just like last time I you know I cooked pork chop I'm gonna cook that again later just uh, with the rice you know just try to season it with with uh, with some spice and uh, steak seasoning is my favorite and then I still have leftover spinach there I'm gonna match that with the rice I really love pork you know um, yeah um, anyway guys so I've seen comments from from that video that went viral here and I got 200,000 views um, at the time that video when I was making that video um, I didn't have any can opener which um, I don't know for some reason I just didn't have the can opener uh, I used to have one um, it's just that that day I don't have one but now I do <laughs> so um, people some people commented that I should have a knife which yes um, you know in the Philippines is so funny because we're so used to that like growing up when I was a kid we don't really have a can opener because we don't have you know we don't have we can uh, we don't have just we just don't have a can opener you know um, we're poor so what we use is the knife to open the can you know um, I'm just kind of used to it that's why I didn't I could care less I don't I really don't care about like if if I need a can opener but I yeah I should have because that's very dangerous you might cut yourself and I'm aware of that and I know that it's it's on me you know um yeah I take that as wrong you know but yeah that's what happened so now I get the can opener so don't worry about it next time when I'm making food yeah I'll have that there anyway guys so I'll give you guys an update later as we are as we go um, it's gonna be a 3d stripe to Colorado so I'm gonna document I'm gonna make a video for it um, as we go to Colorado Spring give you guys an update show you guys the truck stop show you guys the places the nice places in route going to Colorado so stay tuned and yeah I took you guys in a bit bye it's been 30 minutes now or they're not done yet but I mean no worry because it's not it's not a big deal I haven't eaten my breakfast yet again as I've told you guys last last time as I've told you guys last time I don't really get hungry in the morning here in the United States I don't know here I don't get hungry in the morning I eat I only eat once a day and sometimes twice and I just don't get hungry in the morning but when I'm in the Philippines like I woke up right at 6 in the morning 5 a.m. I'm always like hungry I don't know I think it's the weather so here 
because I talked to mom today, uh, this morning, and like, have you eaten breakfast? I said, no, I have not. You should get something to eat, it's not good that, you know, you don't eat breakfast. So, because I really don't like the food at the truck stop, but, you know, sometimes I do grab some food at the truck stop, like, um, like, um, like McDonald's, sometimes I do get the, the, the bacon and eggs and the sausage sandwich and this one I got the steak and egg cheese croissant um, I got it this morning and I got my uh, coffee here so I'll try this mm. it's not too bad You know, um, you know, my, I'm gonna speak Tagalog right now. Um, you know, guys, ang namimiss ko talaga sa Pilipinas is parang alam mo yun. There's no place like home talaga. You know, in the Philippines, you wake up in the morning, you get neighbors and um, may mga alam mo yun na pagisip mo maraming tao marami kang kasama pag lumabas ka, magta-tricycle ka, magta-jeepney ka ang sarap sa pakiramdam although polluted <laughs> yung lugar natin sa sa Pilipinas, yung ibang area is polluted, polluted pero alam mo yun, ang sarap sa pakiramdam ang dami-daming tao na parang just to experience it na magsasakay ka ng jeep, mag-LRT mag-MRT, just like New York, parang ganyan siya sa Pilipinas yung New York, very crowded um Sa Pilipinas naman, namimiss ko talaga yung sumakay ng jeep, mag, mag karaoke, mag kakain ng isaw, mga barbecue sa hapon, tapos mag, ang sarap-sarap sa Pilipinas. So, I wish kung mayaman lang talaga ako sa Pilipinas, guys, mag-move na talaga ako doon. Kasi nakakamiss talaga. Lalo na pag hindi mo kasama yung mama mo, yung papa mo, pag hindi mo kasama, ang, ang hirap, ang hirap talaga. Kasi ako, lumaki kami na hiwa-hiwalay, you know. Yung, yung tatay ko namatay, hindi ko man lang siya nakita. Kasi ako talaga, ako kasi yung mag-support sa, sa pangangailangan doon sa Pilipinas. Nung namatay yung tatay, hindi ako nakauwi. Kasi instead na, na, uuwi na lang, ang iwi kong pera, ipapaano ko na lang sa lamay niya at saka sa burial niya. So, kasi mag-alam mo naman, ma mahal sa Pilipinas, di ba? Ang mahal ng pamasay. Sa kada time, ang dami ko ding problema dito. May mga bilis din ako dito. Hindi ko talaga afford umuwi noon. At that moment, guys, hindi talaga ako naka-uwi. Kasi, kailangan, wala talaga. Pag uwi ako, hindi ko ma-afford na suportahan yung, yung lamay ng tatay ko, yung living niya. So, ngayon, pag uwi ko, uwi ako doon kay tatay para, ano, para mag-sorry mag sa kanya. Ayun, um, wala lang. Na-mention na ko lang, guys. Sorry. So, ayun, na uh, naisip ko lang na ang sarap talaga pagkasama mo yung family mo. Pero ngayon, nakapapunta na dito yung mama ko sa Amerika. Matanda, matanda na kasi mama ko, guys. 68 years old na. Gusto ko na na spend yung time ko while she's here on this earth. Kasi, nung namatay yung tatay ko talaga, parang dami kong realization. Mahal na mahal ko din yung tatay ko. Very supportive din ako. Pero mas close ako sa mama ko. Pero, alam mo yung pag nawalan ka ng tao sa buhay, parang, parang mas gusto mo lagi silang tawagan everyday. Ako lagi kong tinatawagan yung mama ko everyday. Pero sa tatay ko, hindi na hindi lagi. Kasi mas close ako sa mama ko. Walang araw na hindi ko tinatawagan yung mama ko. I always call her. I told her, I love you. I love you. I love you, ma. And don't, you always say I love you to your mom because we don't we don't know hindi natin alam yung buhay ng tao eh so anyway guys uh, what I'm saying is um, just try to tell to you guys that um, <clears throat> where you're where you're from or you know there's no place like home you know like I miss the home I miss the life back home where you know you are surrounded with your family and loved ones and that um, compared the life here in the US I'm alone here I'm always alone on the road and that I miss the life of being with family you know um, 
when my father died, I wasn't able to go home because I'm the breadwinner in the family, so I gotta support them. So that's what I'm seeing in Tagalog. So yeah, it's hard, but uh, life must go on, diba? I gotta scale this load because I'm big at kasi uh, it's like 44, 43,000 so we need to have a legal weight before we can run it safely mm. okay guys I'm gonna end this vlog this is my vlog for today I'm gonna give you guys more updates as we go to Colorado Spring and I can wait to I can wait to make video for you guys and show you guys some my family there in, in Colorado, and we probably have some fun there. Maybe um, we're gonna go hiking and just you know uh, enjoy the um, homemade food because <laughs> I made that I, I miss the life um, being home. You know, like we cook not in the truck anymore because I know. Some of you probably think like, oh my god, you're cooking in the truck, it's gonna smell. It is gonna smell. It is, uh, it, it does the smell in the truck. But the thing is, that's the life of a trucker, you know. Um, compared to like they said, should cook outside. Yes, I know that because you don't want the smell. But the thing is, I, the reason why I don't like cooking outside, um, it's because you are parked next to the other truck. And some trucks are, are so like, you know, you know how you idle the truck and that smoke coming out from that exhaust is gonna go to your food and that's why I, I don't like cooking out and I don't want people like looking at me and when I'm cooking it's just me you know but I think I'm if I'm in the area where it is like away from the truck next to me I did it I did it before I cooked to outside but um just sometimes we don't have we just don't have time to like bring your table outside and people are you know watching and, and I don't like to be you know I don't I want my own business <laughs> so that's what it is uh, you know what else um, as far as the other question they said that um do what do I do during my off time you know after shift <clears throat> Do you do I play games or you know like you know game thing? I used to, but now because I'm so busy all the time, guys. Honestly, like I really don't have time for games. You know, like you know playing games and stuff like that. I normally just uh, either edit a video, go for a walk, and sometimes I would go explore the town if I'm near the city. I would rather just uh, go explore the town and go for a walk or you know sometimes i do what of course i watch tv here and watch movies but i'm not really now as i grow older as i get older i don't like games now i don't want to waste my time doing playing games because for me it's kind of time consuming you know like it's addictive when i used to play game it's addictive and i don't want to just focus my day there instead of doing something that is more uh profitable uh, that, is, that is more worth to do so I'd rather just but I, I do I do play a game so anyway guys I'll end this vlog now so again thank you guys so much for your support and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up what, what are your thoughts about this vlog and what do you think um, any suggestion what next video should I do if you enjoyed this video, please don't, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share it to your friends. If they like tracking videos, please do share, guys, and your help, your your likes and comments. Uh, it's a big, big engagement and help to this channel. So please support me, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye. -bye. Hey, bro, how's it going? What's up, man? How much? Uh, just sign here? Yeah, sign, uh, print and, your name and date for me. All right. And I'll give you All right, I, got, I got it, man. I have the seal. The seal? Okay. We're done there. Well, you can pull up. I'll take your chalk out. All right. We'll that on.
Uh, today's date 614. Yeah, sorry, it took a couple extra minutes. I got oh, stuck. Oh, it, it's good, man. It's stuck on my I've been to a place where I have to wait 14 hours, so this is great. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, not that long. <laughs> Thank you.